Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video. Today I'm going to be making a ramp out of cardboard. Now, I'm going to make a time-lapse video, but if you want me to make a video where I do step-by-step -step and it would be probably 10-20 minutes long, then leave that in the comments below. And also, tell me if you want a big ramp or a half pipe or a small ramp just like a wall ramp whatever you want just leave it in the comments and I'll do it alright so first what you'll need is just a simple sheet of cardboard mine's just I don't know it's just it came off my brother's mattress box and then you'll need a pencil what you'll need for this video is a pencil a sharpie which is optional but it's easier if you have a sharpie a pair of scissors a roll of duct tape and you can go scissors, but it's a lot easier if you have an X-Acto knife, which do not, I repeat, do not play with these because they are extremely sharp. So if you're a kid, have parental supervision or just don't do it at all. Okay, so first, you'll need to draw out an outline of on your cardboard. Now, today I'm going to be making a relatively small ramp. So all you need to do is draw out a square. Outline it with the Sharpie. Right in the middle of your cardboard. Okay, now I'm gonna go over the time lapse and cut that out. Well, actually, no, 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 I'm, I'm just going to skip ahead. Okay, so now I have my piece of square cardboard. And uh, this doesn't look like much, but I'm going to make it into a pretty sweet ramp. See, all I need to do is make the frame. And it'll be like this. And I can just come up and do some sweet tricks. It won't be that big. And if you want me to show you a tutorial on making a half pipe or some kind of uh, big ramp like... Um, like this. This is a pretty big ramp, and this, this kind takes a long time to make, but, gosh, this thing's trash. Yeah, here we go. But uh, today, my, the ramp that I'm making today is going to come out more like, more like this. So, after you have your piece of cardboard, what you need to do is make the frame. So what you need to, to make the frame, you just draw out two squares. Smaller ones though, because uh, these are gonna be the sides of the ramp. They need to be about the same size, but um, they do need to be, though, the same height as your other piece. So just put your other piece on top of the cardboard and then just draw the line you need. And then, um, yeah, just make your, make your shape. Okay. Okay, I got my two pieces. Now what you need to do is get the duct tape slant your piece like this and put your smaller piece like this and then tape the whole thing and tape you, you have to remember to use a lot of tape on your ramps because if you don't it, they, they fall apart and they're not very good quality I don't know, but I think my friend Aiden and his YouTube channel, I'm pretty sure he made a ramp tutorial video, so might want to check that out. He might have done a better job than me, I don't know, it's hard to say, but, um, okay, I'll just pause it. Okay, I got it all taped up, now, the last step to making your ramp is you don't want to use the exacto knife for this step. You just want to use your scissors because it's easier. 
you just want to cut those extra corners, that excess stuff, off. See how it's nice and flat now? Just cut the other one off. Okay, see, now you got a nice ramp. And now all you need to do is tape the insides, which this is a very important step because see how it's all flimsy? You don't want that because if I tried to do a trick on it now, it wouldn't even, like, wouldn't even work because it would probably just fall apart. So what you need to do now, take your duct tape, I'll just put it here. Okay. For this, you're going to need a pretty long piece of tape. And just tape this whole side because when you first tape it and then you cut off the sides, it's not taped anymore. So it doesn't really, uh, doesn't really work very well. But this makes it nice and sturdy. Okay, so just tape all that up, that'll make it nice and sturdy. Now, the last step is to put a bottom on it, because then if you wanted to, you could put some storage in there, you could put a, you could just put your tech deck down in there, or your fingerboard. So now all you have to do is cut a nice big shape out of your cardboard. Okay, so I've got my cardboard. And your cardboard has to be really long, so your tech deck has sort of a runway. Because, um, well, there's a big gap, see? Like, it's, and it's terrible. So I'm just going to tape it. Okay, got it all taped up. And uh, as you can see, you got the portable compartment. And uh, you, got some, you got some nice flip space here, right here, like for pop shove it or kick flip or and you might want to improve this just tape it over a bunch of times and it'll get smooth and flat so like and subscribe and leave comments below